there, this is Carolyn. And today we're going to draw a thank you note to our grocery workers and our grocery deliverers and our postman and anybody who's out there doing some amazing work just for us. And when we go to the grocery store, even through these weird times, there's always someone there helping us and uh, we really appreciate them being there. So yes, we did send thank you notes to our doctors and our nurses because they're just incredible. But today let's think of everybody else who's helping us out. So grab your piece of paper and your pencil and we are going to draw a bowl of fruit. Now every artist in their career has to draw a bowl of fruit. So we are going to do that. And it doesn't have to be fruit, it can be anything. So let me show you. So once you get your paper, if you want to make a card, you just take your paper and you fold it in half and you just draw on one side. But I'm going to draw on the whole sheet. And you can even draw on a whole sheet and write thank you on it and maybe write your name and a nice little message and you can send that too. It doesn't have to be in card form. So enough talking, let's get to work. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw a bowl. And our bowl is going to take up half of our paper. Now our bowl looks like it's kind of hard to, it's not sitting very well. So maybe if this was a fruit bowl, maybe we can put a, like, a little stand on it. Like that. So a half of like a curve and then two little edges. So on the top, we are going to draw in another line. We're going to draw the top of the bowl, but you see the curve in it? There's a curve. And then if you wanted to, you could take, because that's kind of like the top of the bowl, you were looking into it, and it could be an oval right there. So if we continued this line here, it would look like a really smashed oval. But now we're just doing these sides because we're going to fill our bowl. So you can fill your bowl with anything that you'd like to fill it with that you think that your grocery person might want to see. So maybe I will put an apple in mind. So an apple is kind of a circle, but it kind of has a flat, kind of a flat top on it. And what we want to do is we want to put like a little smiley face right there. And we want to put a stem right there. Like that. So you can color your apple green or red or any kind of apple that you like. And maybe we'll come over here and let's draw a banana, which is a big curve like that. And then wiggly line and then you go back down it's like a rectangle on top of it and then you come back down like that that's kind of a thin banana isn't it that's kind of funny we're going to draw another banana where we put the hat on top of it and maybe this one will be a little fatter you go out a little bit and then come back in those are the worst looking bananas, but that's all right. Okay, now back here, we're going to do some grapes. See, not all the time does my hard work turn out just perfect, but it turns out pretty okay. So my bananas aren't the best, but that's all right. Yours will be better. So we're doing just a bunch of circles on top of each other, and maybe this is our grapes. Now, maybe I wanna add a pear. I like pears. So a pear goes like this, and then comes up like that. And then you go down on the other side, and then you poof it out like that. And then you have the little top like that. So now we can continue on our grapes down here, now that we know where our pear is. So let's see, what else can we put? 
Now, I am really grateful for like my bread because I have my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So maybe I could put a loaf of bread in here. Now I'm just making this up. So here we're going to come out here and we're going to go this way. Now my loaf of bread comes together right around here. So we're going to do like that. And you know the tie that they go. And then this is the other side of my loaf of bread. And then it goes down like that. And then I don't want to see the bottom yet. What can I put down there? Maybe I can put, what else do I like? Um, I've been eating a lot of carrots, so we can put a carrot down here. Carrot is my carrots going down into my bowl. Like that. Okay. So, and then my peanut butter. Now our peanut butter, we're going to draw, it's round, so we're going to do the round side and we're gonna come back down. And then it has a lid. You can do like that. And then it has a label. So you can write peanut butter there or whatever you'd like. And then let's see, what else do we like? Do I always get you can be kind of clever if you want to because everybody is buying toilet paper. You can put a roll of toilet paper in your fruit bowl. So it's a smashed circle like this, like a smashed oval. And then another oval inside. And then we can put this down like that. And if you want to, you can kind of like go like that where it's a sheet of paper. There you go. So there's my toilet paper. My fruit bowl is getting kind of big, isn't it? Getting kind of full. So the one thing you can do if you want, you can add a smiley face on your on your bowl. Remember that little dot in your eyes? Now you don't have to do this. You can do whatever you'd like. You can go like that. And if you want to, you can do like some stripes. You can do polka dots. Or you can do some checkers. But do really bright colors and fill your bowl with anything that, that you order or that you go and buy. And these wonderful people are helping you. So then on the top, I would just put thank you. because we really want to thank all these folks who are helping us out. I always like to put a heart on my exclamation point. So just be real creative with your art and with your fruit bowl. I call it a fruit bowl, but as you can see, it's got everything in it. And put it on your door if you have your groceries delivered, or you when you go to the grocery store, your mom or dad, or your Anybody goes to the groceries, you can just hand it to whoever is helping you. And I guarantee you that'll make their day. So thank you very much for tuning in today. And I hope you all enjoy this. And I hope you actually send these to all those folks who are helping us out. Thank you.